guys, it's Rob. Did, today this package came, well I did yesterday, for this new Kinect roller coaster. Because I had nothing to do for quarantine. It has this motor, it's the, you can see, the shark attack. It came with a motor for a launch. And the only, this is something, how loud it is. This is how loud it is. Hashtag ear rape. So I'm gonna build it. Oh yeah, um, another thing. I love Kinex Micro, but these cars and this track are twice smaller than just Kinex Micro. This is very small. I'm excited to build this. Forty-five minutes to an hour. It was pretty fun building it, but it was pretty simple to be honest. I can show you how it goes. I got tested in it to be honest. So there's some things I don't really like about this, to be honest. I have a lot of Kinex coasters, you can see on my Instagram roller lord. Go follow that. And so normally the Kinex micro track is about twice bigger than this. So now I can't really connect it to any other sets. Another thing, the actual like the tunnel is a bit annoying because it can just shake around. And another thing I don't like is that when it launches, it's so powerful that the whole thing just moves and jumps. Pretty loudly too. The thing I do like though, it only it only takes about an hour. This the shark thing is pretty cool looking. And well, I just like the launch. The launch is cool. One thing another thing I like though is that it just looks appealing. With the shark and it like being right at the same angle as the turn at the top. It just looks appealing. And the cars. Most Kinex coaster cars are like a giant automobile, but this actually looks like a coaster car. So now I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. I'll give you guys one more test, though. 